Alrighty, um, I picked up the um, new battery, um, the Ego Seat with it. Um, it's 650 Ma, for those who don't know, Ma MAH is milliamps per hour, just in case you're wondering. Um, it's the same as the standard Eco battery. Um, obviously it's a bit bigger, almost twice as big, okay, bedrooms are twice as big, um, this one, you go twist, is a variable voltage battery, you twist a little knob down there at the bottom, um, there's a little dot, Right down there, and actually, you can read that. Look at that. So, you got 3.2, and then you got I don't know how many lines it is, but you only get one on there. So, you got a little bunch there. Hopefully, y'all can see that. See some of them. We can crank it all the way up to 4.8 volts, or you can go in the middle at 4.0. And each line is 0 0.2 volts. Um, the reason for this is you can play with the voltage and it affects um, the flavor um, and um, vapor production. I'm not a big humorous thing about vapor production. Um, I'd rather have something that tastes better and produces nothing. Than something that tastes horrible and produces a gigantic cloud. I mean, yes, I would love to be able to push out like a humongous amount of cloud to play with it and stuff, but other than that, who cares about that really? Um, it's a standard 510 connection, connects to any 510 tank or whatever you're using. Um, I've been just using a standard Ego tank. Um, this one is for. Pineapple and coconut. Now, let me show you real quick. This also a little tip for you. I like to get different colored tanks. And then on my bottle of juice, I put the label on there of what color tank I'm using on it. Now, sometimes your tanks will screw up. That's what happened up here, right here. Um, this is my coffee flavor. So I grab my bottle of coffee. You know, it says yellow on it, but this is a blue tank. Because this was the tank I originally bought. And it quit working on me. So I just put the yellow tip on there, so I know that's what it, that's what it is. So, well, let me show you real quick on a standard battery. Let me show you this real quick. It also it has the standard five clicks button up here on and off. It's a white light instead of the blue one on the regular one. So it's the regular one. Okay. I'm so gonna we'll do like a five second drag on this. Decent flavor, a little bit of vapor. Now these things are pushing out um, somewhere up right around 3.3 volts. So on the Ego Twist, I have it at 3.2 right now. Like, yeah. So it's just under your standard battery. So again, it's about five second burst. A little less vapor, pretty much the same amount of flavor. Let's crank it up a little bit. I'm just gonna go two. A little more vapor, same flavor. 
opens up two more lines. Still that same flavor almost, a little more bigger. Look at that go all the way up to 4.8. Little, little more flavor to it, not much. That as you saw, a little more flavor too. Um, <coughs> so you can play around a little more. Um, see, voltage works best with your particular flavor. Now the thing about it, it's inside of here. I wish I would have kept that. Laying right here on top. See, yeah, anyway, um, let me grab my clear tank. You see this little pieces of cloth or fabric or whatever hanging down. Those are called the wicks. And the wicks, um, using capillary action, brings juice up into the, um, the atomizer. And let me grab this real quick here. Show you. Down a dirty pound version here. And the atomizer or heating oil, or whatever you want to call it, an atomizer, I believe this is the proper term, is just a coiled bit of wire, like so. Okay? And then, Wick. This is actually going to work out a lot better than I thought it was. I'm going to do it the opposite way, but and so your wick just hangs down in there. The juice is pulled up through the sides, and this little coil heats it, and that's what vaporizes it. So these will be connected to your battery. Or one will be connected to your battery is going to go to a switch to the battery. And that's basically how it works. I'll put that right there. So you can adjust the voltage of your of how much battery how much electricity goes to this coil to vary how how hot this gets. More heat, more vapor, less heat, less vapor. Also it'll coincide with flavor because of how much is actually getting into you. So that's why a variable battery gives you more control. I ain't saw it, so now it's all the way down to 3.2. No more. So that's why it matters. Um, two things that I do want to talk about. One more little tip I got for you. This one's not too much of a big deal because I know it's a different one. But on the standard batteries, I've labeled them. So I know which ones need to be charged um, and stuff like that just to help keep track. Like I know two, like if I don't have time to charge or anything. If I know two need to be charged. When I can, can I get to it? I know this one needs to be charged. Um, another thing. Where is it? There you are. I had the blue heat stick. Here's the 
battery port. That is one pin connection. So I connect it to my tank. From what I've read, um, this is putting out the same amount of power, around 3 volts, I believe, as your standard battery, but it's a lot less than the camp, so this one, if you're doing it like this, this one's going to die quicker. Um, the good part about this is this is an automatic battery. Well, these ones are manual, meaning you have to push the button to use this. This one, you don't. It's also a lot smaller, so if you want to uh, be a little more discreet, like you can just cut this thing out. Whereas the standard battery. A little bit less. Um, also, I'm just gonna use the standard one. If you're out and you run out of juice, you can go to the store and I'm not sure about other brands, but buy blue cartridges. And they will sit on there. You can use it. So, if you just happen to be out, need a quick fix or whatever, you can use um, at least blue cartridges um, if you have a 510 battery. Or if you just use something like, ooh, you know, I want to try the cherry or whatever, you can do it. Um, these things are expensive though. Ten bucks or so for a pack of five. So I spend that same amount for a thirty millimeter, for thirty milliliter bottle of juice. So you know, if you want to, you can do it. That's one thing I really love about this stuff. It's pretty much universal as long as you right, you know what you're using. You know. Um, seems like standard. Standard, but since it's the ego system, your ego battery charger works fine on it. So, there you go. Um, just for fun, these I'm trying to build smoke rings. I've done it like three, four times. I'm not good at it. So. Um, I've been playing around with it. Um, for a little while. Let me get one more shot to full power. Anyway. Um, so far I like it. Um, spent 30 bucks on battery, which is probably a little more than I probably should have, but I got it at the store, so I could use it immediately. Um, real quick, also, I bought this yesterday. Uh, I've probably used it for five hours and haven't had a charge it. Um, the exception of the kits I bought, like the blue, um, Enjoy and stuff. Ego systems are the only ones I've never had to charge out the pack. They've always been ready to go and lasted a decent amount of time. 
So, there you go.